I would like now to introduce your speaker for today, Eric Green. Eric Green is a partner in Green and Sklar's LLC, a boutique tax firm with offices in Connecticut and New York. The focus of attorney, Eric L. Green's practice is civil and criminal taxpayer representation before the Department of Justice Tax, Div tax Division, Internal Revenue Service, and State Departments of Revenue Services, as well as handling probate matters and estate plan for individuals and business owners, and tax planning for closely held businesses. He is a frequent lecturer on tax topics for CCH, the NAEA, the NATP, the ABA tax section, and the Connecticut Society of CPAs. Attorney Green has served as an adjunct faculty at the University of Connecticut School of Law. He is the author and lecturer of the CCH IRS Representation Certificate Program, and he is a communist for CCH Journal of Practice and Procedure. Eric Green, welcome to the program. We are now ready, ready to begin. Okay, thank you. Um, so what we're going to be talking about today is hobby loss exams. And, and, and what I mean by a hobby loss exam is where you have a client, and the client has been filing a Schedule C that shows losses year after year. If there's an audit, there are two aspects to the audit. There's the routine stuff, right? The income and the expenses, right? Is there any, is all income properly reported? And, uh, you know, are the expenses, can they be justified? Are they ordinary and necessary? We've done programs on that. That's easy, right? We got all that. But there's another issue here. Is it a business? Is this thing even a business? And now, beyond income and expenses, the focus of the IRS is now going to become, do you even have a business? What is your intent? Do you have a business plan? All of a sudden, it's going to shift. And so many of our small clients don't really prepare for this kind of thing, right? You know, you know, year after year, they bring you the income, they bring you the expenses, but Code Section 183 has got, like, this other big issue in it, which is, is this even, is there a profit motive? Are they operating this like a business, or is it a horror word, horror story, hobby? If it's a hobby, well, then you're not entitled to losses. You can only deduct expenses in a hobby limited to the income that that, that hobby produces. And that is going to have often a significant impact across the return. So what I want to cover today is sort of we're going to start down the normal path, right? We're going to start down the this is how we handle an exam, this is what goes on, and then we're suddenly going to veer off into 183 world. 